What's up guys, Tevin here, back again with another episode of Let's Play Let's Go Pikachu. So in the last episode, we finished off the Team Rocket hideout, and we made our way over to the fourth gym leader, which is run by Erica. She's a grass-type gym leader trainer. And in today's episode, it's mostly just going to be us taking on the gym battles. Oh, so you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader? I'll have you know we only let trainers with keep Pokemon enter the gym. Do you have one? Here, let me see. Alright, so honestly, you can show her any Pokemon and she'll consider it cute, but just for the sake of my personal preference, I will show her my Wigglytuff, because Wigglytuffs are indeed cute. Huh? Wigglytuff? It's cute. Super cute. Can, can I pet it? Just a bit, please? Oh, 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 it feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. It smells good, too. I love it. Fine, then. I guess I'll have to let you into Celadon City Gym, seeing as you brought a cute Pokemon and all. All right, and with that is, I think Pidgey might be, or Pidgeot might be too big for them to see it as we're going by here. But anyway, um, as always, since we're going to be fighting a lot of gym trainers in here this time around, I'm just going to go ahead and just fast forward through all this part, and when we get to Erica, then I'll go back to live commentary. So, enjoy, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. See you, Erica. I'm coming for you, my senpai. Soon you will notice me. Alright guys, now that everyone's dealt with, now we're back. Now it's time to face off against Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. She's also an narcoleptic, apparently, because she's just falling asleep bit like while standing up talking to us. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. 
Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the gym leader of Celadon City Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. All the others said the same thing, and I got three losers to prove otherwise. Alright, so we are challenged by gym leader Erica. She is going to start off the match with a Tangela, just a pure grass type, so not much to worry about there. And we are going to start the match with our Wigglytuff. Don't have any type of advantages going in with Wigglytuff, but uh, she's currently the weakest member of our team, so I am perfectly fine with that. Let's start things off going with a Body Slam, hopefully we'll get a Paralysis going on for it. And let's see what move Tangela will use going forward. Sleep Powder, oh, it had to be Sleep Powder. Alright, unfortunately that is going to get us to go to sleep. Hopefully this doesn't keep us asleep for very long. And as soon as Wigglytuff wakes up, I want to disable that so she does not use that again. Oh, now it's going to be Mega Drain. You know what? Mega Drain's even better. If I can stop them from using that, she won't be able to heal up any damage that I deal to her. So let's just keep spamming disable. Hopefully Wigglytuff will wake up soon to actually make use of this move. Come on, Wiggly, we're down to like half our health now, and she is now back to full. Come on, Wiggly, please wake up for me, wake up for me. Oh, you're still asleep, oh my god, what are you going to use now? Why still use Mega Drain? I suppose it still makes sense to use, but there are better moves. Disable, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Thank you, disable it. No more Mega Drain for you. Please don't put me back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, so that, that's the same one. Now let's do another body slam! Put that damage back on. Yes, and we got the paralysis. Do not use sleep. Yes, we avoided it this time. Thank you, Wigglytuff. Alright, go for another body slam. Hopefully we'll get also a paralysis on this one too, so she is not able to have a turn since I missed like three of mine. Good, she's paralyzed. Alright, this is going very really good so far. Alright, so... Let's, let's just keep going with body slams. Just keep going. I'm gonna slam it, slam it, slam it. It's gonna be like Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Just keep suplexing this thing until it goes down and stays down. Alright, so we get the win, and Wigglytuff levels up to level 38. Let's see what that stat boost looks like. Alright, not bad with my special attack going for her, but neither is the physical, too. She's gonna set up Weeping Bell. Um. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until Wigglytuff's not able to continue. Alright, so just as always, going to keep doing Body Slam. Hopefully get a Paralysis going on this one too. Oh, wow. You do not have very good defense. Oh, unfortunately you didn't know it was a Poison Jab, and that's going to be super effective against our Fairy Typing on Wigglytuff, and it's enough to knock us out, unfortunately. So we are now down 1-1 one one apiece. So now I am going to, Oh, I didn't want to have to use Doug Trio right now, but you know what, I will, I'll go with Doug Trio. Yeah, okay, this can work. Because with it being at such low health, I can just go for a Sucker Punch and knock it out right away so it doesn't hit us. So let's go for Sucker Punch, and boom, that is enough to knock out her second Pokemon, so now we're up again. And now she's going to use her main Pokemon, it's going to be Vileplume, it's going to be Grass and Poison. I am going to stay with my Doug Trio, even against my better judgment, just to make this a little bit worthwhile in watching. So let us go for Slash, since we're able to get criticals on it, hopefully. No, nope, she's going to go for Mega Drain, that's going to do a lot of- that's going to almost one-shot us, oh my god. And she's going to heal up all the damage that we just put on her. Okay, so we're, we're definitely going to go down in this one, but let's go down swinging. Let's do a try attack. She's going to use Mega Drain. She's not going to heal up much because we're, she's only going to drain 1 HP. I hope you enjoy that. Alright, it's now down to the wire. It's now one apiece. She has one, I have one left. Unfortunately, um, poison Jab is not going to be that effective against this Vile Plume because it is also a poison type as well. But it should be enough to do considerable damage on her Vile Plume. So let's go ahead for Poison Jab. 
All right, so that's enough to get it down. This is going to go for Mega Drain again. Hopefully it doesn't drain a lot. Okay, good. It doesn't drain nearly as much. So we're actually in a really good spot right now. And they don't actually use items to heal up their Pokemon. I'm not going to use any revives this time around, just so I can keep it fair. And we're going to go there for a Poison Jab as well, again. And it's enough to knock out her Fire Plume and secure us a win and get us our fourth Gym Badge. And we beat Gym Leader Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. And we got a decent amount of money for winning that. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. I almost forgot you were here, Pikachu! Alright, we got the rainbow badge from Erica. A rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you up to level 50. That you receive from other trainers. In here. I, if you like, please take this with you as well. And we get TM53 Mega Drain from Erica. For the TM case. So this is going to be a good um, grass type healing move that also damages them. So half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target to heal your Pokemon. And that is indeed a wonderful move if I have any grass up on me. So anyway, now that we got them all beat, Wigglytuff is still right beside us even though she got knocked out. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. And... I think we have enough time that I'm going to go ahead and heal my Pokemon real quick and then we are going to head back over to Lavender Town because when we also defeated uh, the Team Rocket Boss Giovanni, he also give us, um, gave us the Sylph Scope and we're going to need that in order to um, move further into um, the Lavender Tower to get past that ghost Pokemon that was blocking the way. So let's go and heal up and I'll meet you guys over there. So I'll be right back. Alright, so now that everyone's all healed up, we're back in Lavender Town. Um, this will, yeah, this is probably going to be a good place for us to end off the video now that Keybone's back inside. So, in the next, oh, here's Corday over here talking to one of the residents. So that's Keybone's mom. That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Keybone is still looking for its mother even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone heading to the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it, and I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji, too, the one who's been missing. Thank you, and be careful. I really don't like ghosts, but I gotta do this. Alright, so, yeah, like I was saying, this is gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in part 15 when we head into Lavender Tower. So until then, take care, everyone.